All right, we got a video from Dom 2K for y'all. I've been having this one in the tuck for a minute. Did the reaction to it a little while ago. The video is why we'll never see the best version of NBA 2K. So I want y'all to get down in the comment section before this video even kicks off. I want to know what do you feel like is the best version of NBA 2K so far that we've seen? Which, which iteration was the best and on what platform? All right, so go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. And let's lock in. Come on. Around a year ago, I did a podcast with LD2K, and we got around to talking about the PC version of the game. In short, he told me that if the community wanted to see Next Gen 2K ever be ported to PC, the community would have to show that, make some noise about it. Right. However, this video is not me making noise about it, because by this point, I've accepted that it's probably just never gonna happen. Instead, after spending so much of the last six years pouring time into that version of the game, I simply want to point out what's being kept from the community by the way 2K is handling it, but... Okay, okay. Alright, this is Dom 2K for y'all if y'all want to go over there and sub to Dom. To put it in a statement, the best version of 2K is dying. In plain sight, I might add. To start us off, if you haven't noticed by now, PC is getting the last gen version of NBA 2K24 just as it has for this entire console generation so far. This is a deviation from the previous generation where they started with the PlayStation 3 version of NBA 2K14 which was understandable and then gave it next gen for the rest of the games in the PlayStation 4's natural life cycle. That is exactly what happened. That is exactly what happened. He's not he's not skimping. He's not skimping. Hey, look, go like the video. You see this? Do that to my video and his. Definitely. That's what you need to do. Let's have some fun, chatbot. Okay, chatbot in here keeping us company. I see you. Now, what are some reasons you would even buy 2K on the PC? Because I've realized... The only reason I would go and buy 2K on the PC, I would want to, if I wanted to mod something, if I wanted to be like a mod, or just to get like content, different kind of content that's what they be doing all that uh modded player content on. Kobe. that's the situation really that's the only situation i could see myself going over to pc uh, it's not to be copy it's not really copy over there it's a bunch of mods over there really that's the mod community to be honest if you want to make them seven foot players you be seeing them 12 foot players and 40 foot players players with 80 foot arms you know what i mean that's what pc does when you see them tiny player videos, that's PC. You know what I mean? That's PC mods. Um, I could see myself going over there to make content. That's pretty much it. I really wouldn't be able to see myself going over there to do anything other than, than, uh, just gather content and get some videos out for the community and for the, you know, the boppers that like to see that type of stuff or anybody that's interested in 20 foot players or ghost players, players flying around. That's, you know, that's what that community is for. That's, that's what that is. You know, that we don't do that over here on console. It's just not possible. It just things that you can't do. But with PC opens up a whole nother lane for content creators. And that's that's one of the pluses that I see 2K in 2K for their PC version is I really respect the cons the content creators that go over there and use that to make them different diverse type of videos. Um, that's a plus. That's really a big plus. Let's let's get back into it. Let's see what he's talking about. Everybody's not hip. Well, there is literally only one reason. Mods. Nobody's getting that Bam. version to play Rec, Pro-Am, Competitive Online. No, that's stupid. Most of Why you he and put... your friends play on PlayStation. <laughs> Why he put Trey up there? <laughs> Trey is a big content creator, really big content creator. He's been doing it for some years, widely respected in the community. Um... Him and Chase and his crew, Cell Squad, they do go over there to the PC. I've seen them in past years go to the PC version to to get content. Basically, pretty much. And it's good content. And Xbox and being that. Hey, but I do want to say that red outline on bro. I, I like I like that. I don't know if that's a stinger or if that's just a. A red and purple drop shadow. That's that's nice. That's a nice touch cross-platform hasn't been a thing until this upcoming release nobody would logically buy a pc 2k to log serious online hours now Ooh, what exactly is it ricky with the big game? whiff they make the game superior literally in right. any offline that you could imagine cyber faces better 
Quartz, better. Customization options, better. Better. Masters, better. At my better. NBA Eras mode, that made it possible to start the NBA in different generations to do redrafts and sims, whatever you want to do. That feature that we just got in NBA 2K23. We were basically doing that back in NBA 2K20 on PC. And after spending a year with it on NBA 2K23, I can definitively say you could get more detailed with it using mods. The fact that okay. the base mode for this exists now, and it's pretty good to be honest, but the community can't improve on it, that is simply a net negative for my league players. My thing is, when is here's why you'll never see NBA 2K's best version. I don't want to go to so this whole eight minutes to get to the point, but I mean, we're here now. Let's take me for an example. In any given year, I was buying at least two versions of 2K. I'm getting right? PlayStation, of course, because that's where I play mainly. I may buy Xbox if I want to play the game a day early for content. But up until last year, I'm also buying PC because that's just the preferred place to do offline things. Hell, even if I wasn't creating content, I'd still be doing that. How many players? Are you serious? I mean, I mean, I get it. OK, he's making that kind of content. I'm not making that kind of content. So that's why I'm really not too bent on. On really being on the PC version of the game. And then I, I mean, I, I don't have a PC that I feel like a run that the way I want it to be ran anyway. I would want that to be ran a whole different, like just way different. I would want it to be upscaled all the way to the, the, the rizziest. You know what I mean? I want, I would want that to be like as immaculate as it could be. Players out there, would you suppose are like me and are likely to stop spending money with PC because 2K won't upgrade the game. Furthermore, as 2K, why? What do you mean when you? Okay, because y'all don't get the new. Well, I, I do see. I agree with that. I agree with that for sure. I don't see why y'all get the same game as as last gen when y'all are the PC master race. I don't get that. I really never understood that. I feel like the PC version of the game could be upgraded to the um the next gen version of the city and whatnot. Because it just don't make no sense to not y'all got. Yeah. OK, most people with PCs, I believe I would believe I'm not no genius on this. I don't know the, all the ins and outs, but wouldn't a PC have better components than even the P5 and the Xbox SX? I mean, somebody somebody in the in the comments can let me know if I'm right or wrong. I don't think I'm wrong, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Um, most PCs, even a budget PC, wouldn't it, would it have better specs than, than the P5 Xbox new series? Somebody let me know. I don't know. Why wouldn't you want your community to have more options to have fun and make content with your product? Okay. So True. let's go through some related concepts. Hacking. Yes. In the right. past, if you got online using PC, you're probably running into some weird shit. Right. Oblongs. You got to play against the oblongs and you got to play against whoever. Super cousins, super them and super those. And it just don't make no sense to uh to put to make us have to have to deal with that. It wasn't that hard to get on using something that isn't supposed to be there. But once again, he's that nigga look like is almost what totally a bro look like. He hanging between so his own legs like a, suspensions. I don't see how I'm not going to say what he look like. My latest theory That's is that weird, they though. had to have been working on cross platform for some years now and they knew that it was coming. So if you're that worried about True. hacking and don't want PCs in on the cross platform business when it drops, it probably makes sense that you don't want to spend years porting the next gen version only to have to run into that problem. Of course, I don't actually okay. know how hard it would be to just not have cross platform capabilities on the PC version. Version, I believe that's doable. And again, just in case you've been told, it's false information. People are not getting PC just to go online and hack. That is it's a small number of people. The main reason you buy right. a PC is to customize, mostly offline. Straight Speaking up, why he online, look like why he look like uh bro from RDC World. He don't look like bro from RDC World. Is that how they name is? Is that what their name is? Y'all know who I'm talking about. Dude, they make all them videos, them LeBron, LeBron videos. Mark Phillips. Yeah, you say it right there in the comment. Mark Phillips. Hey, yo. 
<laughs> I'm done. Mind component being irrelevant, I'd venture to assume they're not profiting much from VC sales on this platform. If you're buying this right. game so you can mod Blacktop in my league, you're probably not spending a dime customizing an online player or my team lineup that nobody really cares about. Finally, it's Facts. literally just not a secret that there are many cases brah, brah. where the modders simply outdo the devs for whatever the reason may be. Modders having more times than devs to own in specific cyber faces often results in a far more detailed project that enhances the experience. I personally don't think 2K likes it very much when some kid sitting at his desktop spits out like five different versions of LeBron for you to use in a My League that almost all look better than the two or three you get in the vanilla version. So purely from a business standpoint, True. how would you all go right. about rectifying all these issues? You simply let the PC version die and it's working. Okay, so let me let me guess. He's going to sum it up by saying this is why we'll never see NBA 2K24's best version because they won't let PC into next gen or they won't port PC over to cross platform. Is that what you're going to get to, bro? I I can bet that's what you're going to get to. But I mean, my reaction to that, if that is what you're going towards, God, why would we want the modders over there? It don't make no sense. It doesn't make a lick of sense. If that's not what you're getting towards, then excuse me. Yeet. We can we can just throw that away. But I believe that's what you're getting to. And I mean, why would we want? Why would we want PC in the mix if that's what you're getting at? But if you're just saying, if you're simply saying, why don't they port the PC version over to next gen and give them the city and the, the most of the game, the most that they can get out of the game? I believe they won't do that because of the resources that it'll take. Maybe we'll see that next year. Maybe they just were late on the deadline for doing that for this year and they're working on it for next year. You know, that's what I could. That's what I think. That's what I could see as far as them not giving PC the next gen version of the game. I could be wrong, too. I could have the the facts misconstrued. Does PC get the next gen version? And see, that's why I'm not really too inept at doing the news because I don't really stay up on the the actual current what it is and concrete news of it. I'm not really into being Walter Conkright. I really too much. I'm really more or less of a, I like to play the game. I love to play the game and I like to know what's going on, but I'm not going to be the newsman for you. I just can give you my opinions on what I think could be best for us as a community. And what I think I do feel like giving PC version, the next gen, uh, iteration of the game could be best would be best for us would give us the best version of 2k content as far as the people that like to mod you know mod 2k pc version in order to make their my leagues dope and do things like that like my guy my reese i mean uh it's reese my reese my reese <laughs> that's my reese not yours no my, my guy uh it's reese if you go look up it's reese and his his uh my career videos, he's doing something different with my career this year. He started doing a version of my career that uses my league and, you know, the, the different, um, my league stuff that you can use, all the features you use in my league. He's ported those into his my career series where he goes back through all the versions of the game and uses, uses 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and all the way up to 23 to make his my career story so it's more than just the base story that they give you he's actually using pieces and parts of the story and part and piecing them together editing them together in a way that gives you a deeper more in-depth story and he's telling a really good story so far i'm loving the my so go look up it's reese that's my guy bro that's my guy i mean he's giving up some good content as far as the pc version or the mod or the mods from my league and not so much even the mods. He's not even going in depth like that, I don't think. But he's just using my league to make a better story. But um, that's neither here nor there. That was just some... I was. I feel like they should port PC to next gen to give us a way better game. We could get a way better game out of... Or way better content out of the PC guys. 
I, I just feel like it could be, it could, it could open up the doors for some beautiful things to happen as far as content creation. How much PC content have you seen me produce in the last year or two? I specifically stopped because to next gen's credit, the gameplay is running laps around the last gen copy. That means even if I okay. can refine a million little details in the game using mods, the final product just isn't as enjoyable to engage with, therefore we start to move on. And once again, okay. to the business aspect, there sadly seems to be no reason for them to put effort and manpower into working on a PC port. According to VG charts, NBA 2K22 sold 10 million copies. There is data from May of this year that says 2K23 Damn, sold 20 11 million 14. and posted record VC sales. From that perspective, why would you invest time into a version that the community eventually builds up to put the vanilla version to shame all while apparently not actually affecting the sales that much one way or the other that's just truly unfortunate because look at how long gta 5 has been running alongside its console counterpart all while that game has posted records that may never be broken shark cards continue hmm. to sell there's been an entire online ecosystem based on pc mods that's existed separately but nevertheless has continued to help the game's relevancy in my opinion of course you could argue there true. that they that's all true the game every single year so it's whatever but i'm just not shooting that bail 2k had no problem doing this version from 15 to 20 when for most of that time period their sales were actually lower than they are now so all in all it's just frustrating that it's looking as if we may not have a pc version one day killer miller that's who i want in the game give me killer miller bro i ain't seen reggie miller in a few years is he just not signed his contract does he not re-up his contract or what He's holding out for like more payout or what? Because we need Reggie Miller in the game. Scanned and everything. Not looking like this guy. This guy looked like a budget Reggie Miller. We need the real Reggie Miller with the real jump shot. What it do? What it do, baby? Let us have Reggie Miller 2K. Pay that man. Pay that man what he want, man. We need Reggie at all costs, man. But wait, let me go back here because bro says something that caught me. Of course, me. you could argue there that they don't have to port the game every single year, so it's whatever, but I'm just not shooting that bail. 2K had no problem doing this version from 15 to 20 when, for most of that time period, their sales were actually lower than they are now. So, all in all, it's just frustrating that it's looking as if we may not have a PC version one day at all because you don't even need okay. that strong of a computer to run present day 2K. Yeah, if that's you what I was know, thinking. Any mid level PC or higher is probably just as good as or better than a PlayStation 5. Just in case that wasn't clear right. to start with, I haven't been talking about some features that are reserved for the lucky few of us that can afford an RTX 4090 or something. When I made those 2K17 videos way back when, I was working from a decent gaming laptop, getting it to look better than a PS4 Pro. So just imagine that criteria, Damn. but for the current era. By neglecting, I mean, what? On, yes, a, at this point, on like a, a 30? What series? A 20? I mean, because things look pretty good on the 3070. So I, I've never experienced anything under a 3070 unless we're talking about like a off the shelf Dell. I've experienced that, but a 3070 is what I've been working with and it looks magnificent. So what, what level? Is neglect. An entire section of the community were being denied a chance to build on to the My NBA Eras mode that while being a great addition, clearly needs some blanks filled in. Blacktop has mm. been pretty much irrelevant for nearly a decade now, and while you might think that means nothing, I've seen modders turn that into an entire separate game mode that's inspired content creators to work with the game more. You get to add cool little details like new splash screens to keep the game fresh, gear that will never be in the vanilla version, college adaptations right. that could be incorporated into offline modes. There's so much that could be done with this game around the time of year that everyone gets sick of playing the same two modes. But if the systematic dismantling of 2K's best version of the game is any indication recently, it's surely going the way of the dinosaur. I personally think keeping a version of the game alive where the community does all the work to keep the game fun and going would probably help. Maybe you wouldn't see this. I mean, I don't know if it benefits the bottom line for them, though. Like, do they see enough revenue off of that to really um, put that much resources into? You know, it's just no telling. Rise to the occasion in NBA 2K23. Showcase your talent in my career. Pair all stars with timeless legends in my team. Build your own dynasty in my GM. I got the NBA in a new direction with my league. Take on NBA or NBA. In, 
take on NBA or WNBA teams and play now and feel true to life gameplay. Same dip on Twitch viewers. Why did I read that? Around this time every year, just having a version of your game out there that is self-sustaining. I know why I read it. That inspires a you may not. The community I know why. To continue being creative, both with content on Twitch and YouTube, and content just within the game. Having that out there just sounds like a good idea to me. But if I had to place a bet at this point, it feels like we aren't that far from not having PC 2K whatsoever. Ah, uh, nah, they're gonna put it out. They're going to put the game out on PC no matter what. I mean, you might not have the best version of it, but they're going to put the game out. Um, My thing is like, chill. If that's the case, build your own park. Come together as a community, a PC community, and build your own, build your own city. Build your own community. Build your own state. Build your own country. Whole 2K country, like. 2k america like why not y'all can do everything else y'all see what they do with with what um gta gives them i mean you guys can do the same things if you wanted to you build your own courts build your own architecture all you need is an engine you have the engines uh i say y'all band together across the world come together and build your own next gen and let them see how beautiful it can be and how much y'all will spend on, I guess, playing it. I don't know. Buy some VC. I don't know. Stop stealing. Stop modding everything. I don't know. They don't see y'all doing anything constructive or helping them with anything. So maybe that's why they don't come to the table and upgrade for you guys. You're not buying any VC at the end of the day. That's the bottom line. I can tell you that for sure. I can tell you that for sure. If you guys were uh, into buying some type of VC, they would definitely give you what you want. They would definitely get to giving you exactly what you wanted out of the world that you're asking for. I'm not going to I'm not going to hold you any. I'm not going to play beat around the bush. If you guys were into buying VC and they saw their VC sales going up across PC, they would definitely give you a bone. There's no if ands or buts about it. And that is why you will never see NBA 2K's best version. I believe we're going to see it. I mean, I don't agree with the title. The title was kind of, uh, the, the title was kind of clickbaity, but not, I, I don't want to say clickbaity. I want to say, Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.